my YouTube channel. I am Amy. I have tried to do this before. I did compete six years ago. It was a hell of a ride. Not a great one. I will link to a podcast below where I talk about my experience, but I'm back at it again. On the back of this t-shirt, I have a whole bunch of the values that I aspire to. It's like grit, growth, belief, persistence. Mate, persistence, coming back after six years. Talking to you now a little bit about my growth phase. So I started that in August, 2020. I have had some mini cuts in between, but largely decided to really, really specifically grow since then. Prior to that, I was doing some powerlifting and had just done a powerlifting competition before good old lockdown happened in March of 2020. So I did the powerlifting comp in February. Then we got locked down. I did a deficit and I was like, you know what? I want to go back to bodybuilding. I want to go back to um, hypertrophy. And then a few months after that, I was like, you know what? I actually think I'm in a great headspace to compete again. So that is what we decided to do. I have a few weeks left of this growth phase. The comp prep, so the deficit, is going to start on the 16th of May and the show is going to be on the 30th of October. In terms of the growth phase, I am at the stage where one of my clothes really fits so great. I'm pretty lethargic. I'm kind of overeating food at this point in time. It is really, really necessary. And if you had any questions about, you know, eating in a surplus, what does that feel like? What does it feel Feel like walking around at a high body fat percentage go through life with the questions i would love to hear them coming to the end super excited i'm training five days a week at the moment the last few years i haven't trained five days a week it's been programmed four days and throughout lockdown i've got to be honest i was pretty much only training like three days a week how long has this program been going for so the five days has only been going for maybe a month now like i said prior to that i was doing four days i'm doing three upper body days, two lower body days. My critique is going to be, I'm gonna need more shoulders, I'm gonna need more glutes, I already know it. We've still got a few weeks left of this growth phase to just try and build as much muscle as I possibly can, so that is my goal. The other thing that I did really poorly last time was my posing, and it wasn't because I didn't hire a posing coach, I did, it wasn't because I didn't pose enough, I did. I'm just really shit out, I'm super stiff, not great. So I've already started again with a posing coach. I know my routine already. I actually have slacked off the last few weeks. It isn't the most fun to pose when you're at a much higher body fat percentage. The poses don't look quite right. Nothing looks quite right. I know that's just a mental thing and I need to get over that and I need to start practicing again so that will happen. I've actually signed up for some dance classes, which is mostly meant to be just for fun for me, but I do think that they might help me with a little bit of sass on stage. So let's hope that that goes well. They start next week, which is super exciting. But otherwise, guys, I am going to leave you here from now. I'll probably pick this up at some other stage during this weekend. And thank you so much for joining. If you haven't already hit subscribe, I would be very grateful if you could do that. Jumping into a voiceover with my training clips. This is from my favorite upper body day. And for a bikini, we're really trying to look at creating a very well-balanced X frame. And by an X frame, I mean pretty wide lats, a smaller waist, and then proportionately balanced lower body. So lower and upper body is really well balanced with that smaller waist. The wellness division is a little bit different. So the wellness division, they're, they're critiqued on having thicker lower body, so much more muscle mass through their glutes, through their hamstrings, through their quads, and they're leaner through the lower body as well as bikini. But bikini is looking for a very proportionate look. So density through like rhomboids and traps isn't very important for bikini, and often the time our hair is covering it. But for sure, building some wider lats is gonna be really important into creating that hourglass illusion. And we can, of course, uh, increase that illusion through the way we pose and making sure we're posing in a, a way that is suited best to our physique. But I've had so, so, so much fun building my back and I think we've done a great job with this size through my lats.
lightning fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness I've literally just pulled over to tell you this story Because it is very, very important And it just came into my mind as I was training And it is how deep my why is and on the surface it's like oh yeah you're doing a bikini comp like it it seems superficial as all hell right but this is really really important to me because the last time i did it to say that it broke me is like an understatement my whole life got turned upside down body image was absolutely rock bottom my, my relationship broke up it was a significantly stressful time I was just getting my business started so the competition was in September I had just started my business as a personal trainer on the 3rd of September you could so yeah it was just it was just crazy crazy period of time and it took me so long to be okay with food it took me so long to be okay with my body image even after I started to feel really good in myself so I started to feel really good about a year later October of the following year so it was maybe 13 months later I started to feel really good in myself but I was still super anti competing again I never ever wanted to do it I was it was almost like a PTSD reaction and it took me it took me quite a while like I said I don't want to keep saying the number six and and harping on about it but it's like it's six years later this is going to be so much fun for me it's going to be it's going to be a really really fun experience and I'm excited for it because I know that the prep last time it really was fun like the portion of it that was you know the food and training was really fun it was just that I had all this other psychological bullshit that I was dealing with and had to get through right the thought that gets me and it, it moves me to tears every time and I'm go, I will cut out any tears from this. It's being able to do something, have it absolutely break you and then go, you know what? I have grown and evolved so much. I'm going to fucking do it again and it's not going to break me. I am going to be resilient as fuck. I am resilient as fuck. And I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do, I'm going to do something again that once broke me. And the strength that comes with that, the inner self-confidence of like knowingly throwing myself into something that absolutely tore me down last, last time and going, you know what, I'm going to have so much fun doing this thing again. It means a lot and it's a huge driving force for what I'm doing and I know it can seem really really superficial on the outside like I said I know it's a bikini comp but it's like the bikini comp is the avenue for this internal evolution and that's what I'm getting to express this year okay I'm now home enough tears <laughs> guess what I am having these are my absolute favorite ever but I am going to leave the vlog here I'm going to edit it and get it up ready for you guys tonight if you have questions, comments, whatever, I would love to get this community growing in the comments. So please give me a shout out and say hello.